Jackie, there's never been a presidential candidate like Michael Bloomberg, never one as rich, ploughing so much of his own money into expensive TV advertisements, never one pursuing such a high-risk strategy, entering the race late and missing the first few states to vote altogether. And if you believe Donald Trump, there's never been a worse debate performance than Bloomberg's last night. Now, Michael Bloomberg is a former mayor of New York. He's a former Republican, and he's in this race because he thinks the others don't measure up. But does he measure up? By consensus last night, uh, it was a bruising evening for Michael uh, Bloomberg. He was under constant attack from his rivals. And many Democrats simply didn't expect to be in this position nine months or less before Donald Trump's, poss Donald Trump's possible re-election. They had six candidates in Las Vegas last night tearing each other to shreds. Democratic debate number nine was brutal. Most of all for the new face on stage. Billionaire Michael Bloomberg walked straight into a pummeling. I'd like to talk about who we're running against. A billionaire who calls women fat broads and horse-faced lesbians. And no, I'm not talking about Donald Trump. I'm talking about Mayor Bloomberg. <laughs> Democrats take a huge risk if we just substitute one arrogant billionaire for another. Mike Bloomberg for president. Michael John. Bloomberg is far happier controlling the narrative. He's bombarded Americans with TV ads. Already, he spent more of his own money than any candidate in history. It's riled his rivals. In a field currently led, don't forget, by Bernie Sanders, self-avowed democratic socialist. We have a grotesque and immoral distribution of wealth and income. Mike Bloomberg owns more wealth than the bottom 125 million Americans. Should you have earned that much money? Yes. I worked very hard yeah. for it. You know what, Mr. Bloomberg, it wasn't you who made all that money. Maybe your workers played some role in that as well. Bloomberg's billions make him the richest person ever to run for the White House. He's bought himself a formidable campaign machine and a sprawling network of influence. But on that debate stage, he was all on his own. What his defense was, I've been nice to some women, Bloomberg was on the spot for his record as New York mayor and head of his financial media empire. Elizabeth Warren, needing a boost, took aim over non-disclosure agreements signed by some former female employees. So, Mr. Mayor, are you willing to release all of those women from those non-disclosure agreements so we can hear their side of the story? We have a very few non-disclosure agreements uh, how many let is me that? finish how many is that none of them accuse me of doing anything other than maybe they didn't like the joke i told to keep the case quiet, he's making is that the others aren't up to it i can't think of a ways that would make it easier for donald trump to get re-elected than listening to this conversation <laughs> it's ridiculous as former vice president joe biden has faltered but did i get a chance to say something see See, thank you. See, see. And other moderates bickered. Are you trying to say that I'm dumb or are you mocking me here, Pete? And now they have a new member of the crew, Mini Mike. Mini Mike. Donald Come Trump was unsurprisingly unimpressed. And I hear he's getting pounded tonight. You know he's in a debate. I hear they're pounding him. He's stiff. He didn't really engage very much. He wasn't very assertive. He kind of seemed to want to get past it and hope that it all went away and he could keep running his ads. Can he just spray some money around and redeem himself? I think if Michael Bloomberg didn't have the hundreds of millions of dollars to spend on this race, uh, he would be nowhere near where he is right now. Uh, he would probably not have any chance after what happened on Wednesday night. One of these six will take on Donald Trump. After a fiery night in Las Vegas, one thing we do know. Bloomberg still has plenty of money to, to burn.